Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do the um, fall tag that was originally done by Jacqueline Hill and I know a lot of the YouTubers have done it so far this fall. I know there was some tags last fall as well, but I thought it would be fun to get on here and just share what some of my favorite fall things are because like many of you, fall is my favorite season. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Just pretty much fall and the beginning of winter from about the middle of August, I start anticipating it through the end of December. It's just my favorite time of year. So let's just jump in. Um, the first question that is on the tag is, what is your favorite fall candle? And like many YouTubers, one of my favorites is a Bath & Body Works candle, and it's Harvest Gathering. And I love the packaging this year. I love the green wax. I think it's beautiful, as well as the label. And the scent description, in case you're unfamiliar with it, reads, transport yourself to a hilltop winery during harvest with a blend of cinnamon leaves, crisp apple, and a touch of tart cranberry. And I just think this is the perfect fall scent. Um, it smells so good. I love having this burning in my home during the fall season. The next question is your favorite lip color. And my favorite lip cover color this year is um, the L'Oreal Riche uh, line of of lipstick and you can get this at the drugstore obviously and the um, color is 560 saucy mauve let's see if that's gonna focus I don't think it's going to um, I swatched it on my wrist earlier it looks like that I think it's just a beautiful mauve neutral to wear it goes well with any outfit that you're wearing um, it looks good on many skin tones if not all skin tones and I just love it I think it's a great pick for a fall lipstick the next question, your favorite fall drink, and, oh, I thought I brought my coffee cup over here. My favorite fall drink is, um, of course, I love the pumpkin spice latte. Um, I love the gingerbread latte as we get farther into winter, but if I'm honest, my very favorite drink is just a homebrewed cup of coffee with some creamer in it on a Saturday in my pajamas at home when I have nothing I have to do. Um, and preferably it would be raining or at the very least overcast. And that is my perfect fall drink wrapped up into one, just homebrew coffee. Um, I just enjoy being home. It's so cozy, especially in the fall. And, um, yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Kind of a homebody. The next question, my favorite blush. I have two favorite blushes. Um, the first one, I think these are great for all year round, but they work really nicely in the fall as well. The first one is by MAC, and so it's a little bit more on the pricier side of things, and it's Lady Blush. It's their cream blush. You'll have to excuse the packaging. It's so, I lost the cover on it, and it's well-loved. Let's just say that. So, um, it's called Lady Blush, and it's a warm, neutral, kind of corally color, and it's their cream blush, so it's very easily blended. Um, it really does stay on the skin, I think, all day long and it gives you just that really nice um, you know that's not a very good spot let's see I'll swatch it next to the lipstick it just gives your cheeks that really nice um, out in the cold kind of just bitten uh, wash of color so I really love Lady Blush by MAC these are about $22 a cheaper option is Milani it's one of their baked blushes and these are about $8.50 you can get them at um, the drugstore and this one is in Rose Dioro, and I think it's a very similar color to the Lady Blush, but it does have some gold flecks in it. So the base color is very similar, but it has the gold, the gold flecks in it. So let's see if I can swatch this. It's on the bottom, and so you can see there's a little bit, maybe more, that's not very good, a little bit more orange to it than the Lady Blush, but they're both very pretty. Those would be my two um, picks for fall blushes. The next question is <clears throat> favorite clothing item for fall. So I'll start with the runner up. The favorite clothing item is um, just a boot. Any, I love the knee high like riding boots um, and then of course I love the booties. This is my choice for this year. This is a cute little booty I got um, and it's uh, Franco Sardo boot. I actually found found this at TJ Maxx for about $60. I just love the color. I think it's really versatile. And um, so this is my favorite for this fall. And then I do have some riding boots that are brown. 
from last fall that I love, and I just think a pair of boots in the fall is definitely a staple. That's my runner-up, though. If I had to choose one favorite fall piece of clothing, it would be a delicious scarf. So this is my choice. I love the scarf. I've had it for several years. It's from The Gap. There's some fringe on the bottom, and I love the plaid, and it's very neutral, but there's nothing better than wrapping up in a scarf on a cold day and just, um, I don't know, you can wear them so many different ways. I think they add so much to an outfit, and they're just so cozy. So my number one choice for the fall is a scarf. The next question was your favorite movie. This one was really hard for me. Um, <clears throat> I love... Hocus Pocus. I know that many people love that movie. Um, I also really love the Charlie Brown um, pumpkin. I don't remember the exact name of it. It's some. It's it's a Charlie Brown like pumpkin movie. It's their their Halloween Charlie Brown special. Uh, I just love that one. I think it's so cute. I love all of their their holiday special movies. Um, so those would be my two choices. I didn't really have like a specific one that I love, love, love. Can't get enough of it. Yeah, I just, anything that's on ABC Family for their Halloween specials, I, I like those those ones. Um, TV show. For me, I'm not really watching a TV show regularly right now, but for the longest time, um, I watched The Gilmore Girls when it was on TV, and that always started in the fall. I loved that show. It brings me back to college whenever I watch, like, reruns of it on TV or if it's on, you know, if I watch it on Netflix. It just makes me think of the fall because... I would always have like a night class the night that it was on TV and I would be walking back from night class. It would be cold and rainy. I'm originally from Oregon. I live in California now. So I'd be walking home in my rain boots and I'd be looking forward to watching the Gilmore Girls. I'd get home. I'd watch Gilmore Girls with my roommates and I don't know. I love that show. That will be my forever favorite fall show. Even though it's not on TV anymore, it's probably cheating, but that's my favorite. The next question is Thanksgiving food. <clears throat> So I'm kind of going, yeah, I have multiple choices for every question. I feel like I'm breaking the rules, but um, it's a tie. My favorite Thanksgiving food, I love stuffing, but I love cranberry sauce. I could not pick between the two. Um, yeah, I love cranberry sauce. Probably a little bit more than the stuffing, but the stuffing would be my, my second option. They're both really good. Um, but I also had to add... A fall food that has come out recently, kind of in the pumpkin spice kick of foods. It seems like you can get everything pumpkin spiced right now. These I found at Costco. And um, the brand is Popcornopolis, and it's pumpkin spice popcorn. Have you guys tried this? It is amazing. I'm not the type of person that really likes eats the food and thinks, oh my god, this is my guilty pleasure. It's so good. I can't get enough. I just have to have it. We went back, my husband and I bought a bag of this, tried it, loved it. We went back and bought like three more bags because I love, I want this on hand for not only us, but just when we entertain and have people over this fall. Oh my God, it's so good. It has like white chocolate drizzled on it. You can taste the pumpkin spice, but you get the caramel corn. So good. And it says it's gluten-free, GMO-free, pure coconut oil, no high fructose corn syrup, and there's no trans fat. So, you know. Maybe on the healthier end of some food. <laughs> um, the next question is, you guys have to try that. Um, favorite Halloween costume. So, again, two options. My husband and I last year dressed up as I was Hermione from Harry Potter and he was Harry Potter. And so that was really fun. Um, and then the year before that, we were just getting ready to move. We had just bought a house and we were moving in like a week. And the house we were living in was just in boxes and our life was chaotic and we're working and um, we weren't planning on dressing up that year but we had gotten invited to this really big Halloween party so on a whim I can't take credit for this I got on Pinterest and we dressed up as 50 shades of gray so what we did is um, we wore all gray my husband wore gray shirt gray pants um, and then I wore a gray top and a gray skirt but on my husband's tie and on my skirt we took ton of different gray paint sample squares and just glued them all over the tie all over the skirt so we were 50 shades of gray it was kind of a play on words and I just thought it was so fun and creative and pretty easy to throw together at the last minute when our life was in chaos and we couldn't really think to put together a costume so that worked for us and if I can figure out how to 
put a picture in here, I will, but I'm new at the filming and the YouTube thing, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But those are my favorite costumes. Anyway, let me know what your favorites are, and um, I hope you guys stick around. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hang out. I'll be uploading videos occasionally, probably a lot of hauls, empties videos, um, tag videos. Yeah, we'll see what else. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. So I hope that you guys are having a great day and happy fall. It's officially the first day of October when I'm filming this. So um, yeah, have a good one and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.